Frightening moments for passengers aboard a United Airlines flight that took off from O'Hare Airport. A flock of birds gets sucked into an engine, causing serious trouble and a big scare for those on board. Charlie DeMar joins us now from the newsroom with reaction from those frightened passengers. Charlie. Hey, Rob. Yeah, in the last five years alone between O'Hare and Midway airports, the FAA reports nearly 1,500 bird strikes. And tonight, the passengers of Flight 1738 are safe due to some calm and quick-thinking pilots. Out runway heading 1500 feet. We'll call you back in a minute. Declare an emergency. Flock of geese. We'll get right back to you. You are hearing the pilot of United Flight 1738 talking moments after a flock of birds flew into one of the engines. Passenger cell phone video shows sparks flying midair as that engine shuts down. It sounded like a huge thud and then a continual thud, 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 thud. And the engine was spewing fire and you could smell smoke in the cabin. I just saw a spark of fire just coming out of the wing of the airplane uh -huh. and then it was smelling really bad like something was burning. The flight took off from Chicago's O'Hare headed for Miami at about 745 this morning but quickly turned around making an emergency landing back at O'Hare around 830. It was the smell of smoke that was the most scary. That was I looked at him and he looked at me and he just were like mm. so there's no routine takeoff. There's no routine taxi that we are trained to expect the unexpected. Former airline pilot and current instructor Charlie Hillbrandt has hit birds while flying himself. A wildlife strike or specifically a bird strike can be detrimental to the flight of any aircraft, detrimental to the safety of any aircraft. But honestly, they took care of us and we're here. That's all that matters. And once back at O'Hare, passengers were put on a different plane and eventually did make it to Miami. United says that they will be reaching out to those customers on board and offering to compensate them. Live in the newsroom tonight, Charlie DeMar, CBS 2 News. Rob, Erica. All right, Charlie, thanks.